Hey YouTube, uh, Chris Cigar Hub here, and this is going to be a review of this. It's the Romeo Jetta Romeo number two. Uh, this front of the box. This is a close up of the uh, logo. You can pause the screen if you want to look at that and read it. Uh, this here is the band, or the uh, sealed band thing. Um, Let's have a quick go around the box. As you see, Roman Jota, 10 Romeo number 2, tubeless to aluminium, or uh, just aluminium tubes. Uh, tubeless or tubed is fine to refer to this as. Nothing too special here. Just a barcode and some stuff. A similar thing here. The exact same as the other side. And on the front, just ruined your Habana Cuba. Sorry, the focus isn't working on that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Hey, I'm sneeze. <coughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> Habanos SA. Hetero in Cuba. Totamanta Mano. October 2014, so nearing a year and a half old, which isn't bad. There's also um, that band, that, the uh, usual Cuban seal thing that comes around. It's uh, quite a nice box, like a thin cedar or spruce maybe. Now, uh, let's move that straight away and let's uh, turn the camera down a bit. So this is uh, where we're at. It's held in by a nail, no latch on this. I mean, it's not too thin, it's just very lightweight, so it's a cedar or spruce or something. A piece of paper that was over the cigars. I'm guessing if they're not tubed, that will keep them fresh. Small little note thing. I'm not sure it's going to focus since it's not very clear. It doesn't say anything too interesting, it just says some stuff about Cuban tobacco, and that's about it. Um, a Boveda pack, which is getting a bit towards the solid side. Uh, this came with it. It was um, vacuum sealed in a bag of these, the whole box. This wasn't inside the box. I say put it inside the box because. You know, they're in tubes and on direct contact. So, yeah, that's kind of handy. And let's just turn this around so you can see. The uh, camera's picking up the reflection there. But just normal Roman Julia logo, same as on the front, Havana Cuba. Uh, these are the YouTube scars. Which I can't get out of the box from back here. Yeah, 10 tube cigars. Um, they all seem to be fine, I've checked them all out pretty much. Okay, uh, just as a quick comparison this is Romeo number two, uh, and this is the tube for the. Uh, Romeo number one in Australian plain packaging. Uh, as you can see, the tube is the tiniest bit longer. It is pretty much the same diameter. Maybe a tiny bit thicker. But the cigar was very loose in this. Also, this is plain packaging, so maybe they use a more generic tube than they normally would. But yeah, I just thought I would compare the sizes of those two. So, let's uh, move this out of the way. Back up here. So, just moving those out of the way. I probably shouldn't have that Boveda pack out. Uh, I'll put that back in later. Get our ashtray, let's get our cigar. Uh, some of these are quite tight in their tubes. I chose this one because it's not very. Uh, the tube is lined with um, 
I believe it's spruce they use for this. And it smells very strongly of the uh, cigar. Now the cigar itself looks suspiciously similar to the Cedros Deluxe, which is um, in terms of colour, my comparison. Would this be the Cedros Deluxe? It's a little bit lighter, the same size. Very similar overall. I'd imagine Cedrus Deluxe is more just um, rather than a different size, it's a bit of a different blend. But yeah. These, um, while we're on to the subject of the other cigars, this is the same price as the other cigars. It's about the £11.59 mark. I, I'm pretty sure it's £11.59 anyway. They have a lot of cigars at that price. I'm pretty sure this one on cigars is £11.59. I got these 10 much, much, much cheaper than that. But let's not go into that. Um, I wouldn't have got them if they weren't that cheap. Very similar to Cedros Deluxe, which is a £12 cigar, I believe. In this range, ranging from eleven pounds to fifteen pounds. So, extremely sweet. Um, I didn't review the Romeo Number One. I had that on Christmas, I believe. It was Christmas car sent to me. Very nice, sweet taste, nice smell. Nothing really nutty in there, a little bit of earthiness I would guess. Kind of like sweet earthy taste, Sm scent to it, sorry. Uh, cap is reasonably firm, not spongy, it's quite firm, it's uh, relatively firm actually. Uh, the wrapper seems to be Decently firm. Whole thing on average, really, really firm. The plug is very nice. Let me just try fucking make sure that it doesn't forget where it's supposed to auto focus. By the way, yes, it does say concrete on my hand. Hmm. There we go. This is a nightmare. This is concrete in my hand, in case you're wondering, because we're working with concrete tomorrow at college. Anyway, as you can see, it's a very nice front pack. Relatively solid plug. My nail is not getting any marks into that. The band. A tiny bit of glue, nothing holding it on really, just stop it slide a bit without removing the wrapper. We've got the band off, quite a nice band. Uh, the specific specs of the cigar is it's um, 5 and an eighth inch in length and the ring gauge is 42. You tend to buy these in singles but I bought this in a box of 10 obviously. I'm still debating whether to use the scar cut or the scar punch. I tend to go with the scar punch is my preferred method, but I do like to use cigar cars. And I also seem to get scar cutters. Oh, it's right here. The stupid things I do. October 2015. Let's get it just above the shoulder. By the way, when I cut cigars um, in the cigar car, it was a little bit small. I could just show this. I tend to put it right at the bottom. That way it's got something for to press up to. To 
make sure I'm cutting it equally from both sides. I can't say that wasn't messy. But that cap came off quite nicely, so it's a quite a rigid cap. Nothing really coming off there, just a few uh, little bits of what I would say dusty. Towards the loose side of drawers, there's lots of air coming through there, it's not a complete wind tunnel. Um, but, I don't know, I'd say possibly because of its size, uh, comparing its size to that, I would say it's, it's okay. Dry impressions, extremely sweet. I'd rather leave a little bit of a taste of um, an extremely sweet cigar. It's pretty standard Cuban, I would say. I would um, I would put this in Monte Cristo as my sort of benchmark average Cubans. And this full one. One these days. A little bit of a wrapper that I. Did a bit of damage to, possibly from the cut, possibly from the band removal. Well, I would never normally suggest using a lighter. I just thought I would uh, try something different just to uh, show my subscribers it really does not matter too much. Matches are still better, there's arguments against this. That's a nice bird and even glow. By the way, this is approximately my favourite size of cigar. Ring gauge 42 and about 5 inches tends to be my favourite. Um, like the Inca Secret Brown Petite Corona. Um, this is 5 and 8 inch, so pretty much the same thing. Now let's get to the skin before it's too late. The uh, wrapper. Not really veiny, not much in the way of veins. Pretty tight seal. Um, it's not the darkest, it's a little bit lighter than usual. Well, I mean, it's, uh, it's dark, but I mean, it's lighter than the Cedro Slugs for a dark, give an example. It's relatively smooth. It's quite a nice, decent wrapper. The wrapper's probably, you know, a good Cuban. Does sparkle coming down? At the end, a bit of black ash, starting to turn into white ash, that's characteristic of a Cuban. I take uh, the tight draw back. I say maybe a bit more towards the uh, medium now. So I would take the loose draw back. It's um, definitely more towards the medium. It doesn't seem to overheat easily. It seems to remind me a little bit of the good portion in the Chinchal Roll cigars. For some reason, it's just got a bit of that taste to it. Characteristic, um, mostly white ash. It's not entirely there yet, but... I 
as well miss cards this tends to be the point i start reviewing the taste because i like to get in a decent bit to get over the actual burn speaking of which it's uh, burning okay a little bit of a hiccup there but overall very good taste wise very smooth on the palate, it leaves um, sort of a sweet night aftertone on the palate not it tends to describe most of well, most cigars in the market I would say it's uh, sort of like a little bit of a spice that you tend to get on most good cigars definitely not a taste to it Cubans of course being towards the sweeter side of the market A little bit of information on this. Let's have a look at cigars on mid. This is um, what I found on their website. This is the same cigar. I didn't buy it from here. As you see, Olympian 59 each, rated 4 out of 5. It was the same as the Romeo one I had. I would rate it 5 out of 5. Flavour, medium. Very nice strong burn, mild fruity flavours with other tones of leather and earth. So the taste and notes don't even match up with the flavour they put in the description, that's quite interesting. Length 5 and an eighth inch, 129 millimetres. By the way, uh, when I said I bought these much cheaper, if I bought them at the same price of cigars, well, as of cigars, I wouldn't have bought them. That's in no way saying anything bad about cigars. That's uh, that's a whole big uh, most of that's taxes anyway. So it's not as if they're making masses of money out of you. Single tube cigar, ring gauge forty two. Case into millimeters by the way, hundred and twenty nine millimeters. All the reasons do very good. Four star, four star, five star, four star, and a two star, which is rather surprising. Let's have a look at the two star one just to make sure that, you know, we're not getting into anything bad here. I won these last week. Was a prop was a good proper Cuban, but lacked a bit of punch. I had a good solid draw until the last two inches when the draw became tight. Would usually enjoy the last bit of the cigar the best, but I really didn't with this one. Here's two more of them to try, so hopefully I just got a bad one. Well, Actually sounds like um, a decent enough review. I'd say the last two inches on this cigar though is quite significant so that might be something to watch out for. And yes, they are supposed to have a bit, a bit of extra spice one on when it comes to the end of the cigar. But all these good reviews, my first one with Juliet was was quite pleased with this one, like the beginning, constant kind of burn, kind of spicy towards the end, not too strong. Prepare for a beginner like me, already bought more. Really smoke with very little aftertaste, smooth and even burn, ideal for the first timer. Yeah, I would probably say this is a. If you want your first Cuban, I would probably pick something like this again with the generic ones the Romeo 1, the Romeo 2, Monte Cristo number 4, the Monte Cristo number 2, if you could afford it, it's a bit more expensive. But those sort of things. I thought well, I wouldn't recommend just jumping into Cubans, I would say maybe like um, think a secret blend. Those came back into stock, but they're already out by the way. So let's have a look at the sash. The burn's actually evened itself out in an okay amount. The ash isn't as white as it should be from a standard Cuban. Which uh, seems a bit odd to me. I'm probably going to be buying more boxes like this. Um, they're uh, quite good. Let's say uh, currently I've got right now two boxes of cigars. These are my Regis Coronas, which is a box of 25. I would consider getting these in a 25.
to have that off. I'm going to say that's not even the burns, but it's okay. It still fits nice in the hand. Of course, Iron Brew, the staple of every man. If you have Iron Brew, you will love it. Really nice on the palette. Um, if you have wet lips, you definitely get a, a bit of a tang, a little bit of a taste of a tang. That mainly just gets in your lips from the outer wrapper. Definitely more towards the simpler flavours. I mean, it's a nice uh, sweet one, but nothing complex in there. Definitely uh, quite earthy, as I started off by saying. Let's try to smooth off some of that. Sorry about that message that had to be sent. Definitely an interesting talking point, uh, talking point of a cigar. I just feel lots of smoke coming off it when it's not being in use. For me, today isn't a big cigar day, but I got these today, so I thought might as well. general aroma I know I've been smoking this for about five no 10 15 minutes more like more like 10 actually and the general rim aroma I know I'm probably not be able to smell it because you know I've been smoking it and I'm used to it but it's not really giving off anything powerful like other scars you know I would say if someone's happy to maybe sit around someone who smokes, then they'd be happy with you know this. Most people tend to be put off by the smell of cigars. Speaking again on the lighting of cigars, I would recommend a match at all times. I also took it a lighter to do a bit of extra burning, you know, extra bit of toasting to make sure it's well evenly burned, one dot. The whole idea of, um, you know, lighting it so it's nicer before it comes into your mouth, that's not very, uh, that's not anything special, that's uh, not going to help you too much. Getting a bit more smoke off it now. Two matches would be enough. I don't know if you use gel layer or normal layer, no one's going to criticize you as long as you are happy with it being lit. <laughs> as long as it's you know sort of even, you can see it's not you know just massively burned like entire gash right down the middle of the scar or anything. And then on the top, it's fully. You can't really go wrong. college tomorrow some um interesting work going on in the morning mixing concrete basically in the afternoon a structural mechanics class or is it civil engineering technology i think it's civil engineering technology assessment close book assessment then a 
uh, Shudge Mechanics class. It's probably, you know, not a very good afternoon. I'm probably just going to get in and just like, I couldn't be fucked with that. So. But yeah, I don't mind the um, materials and testing in the morning. That starts at 10, it's 10 till 12. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a decent enough class. We're never in it too long. We've got reports to write about it though, and it's really going to be a bit of a pain. There's a bit of an odd thing with my webcam. That spot there, that sort of glows. Whenever I puff on the cigar, I'm guessing this gets, you know, quite light and it throws off the colour balance a bit on the camera. It seems to focus on the light in here a bit more. Yeah, and that purple spot appears somewhere in this region. It's quite interesting. Pretty much all these big reviews I tend to live stream. I like people to watch live, then they can ask questions, and uh, anything I don't cover in the video, they'll usually pick up on. I think we should give this a minute test. Where I tend to just leave it for a minute and then just see if it goes out or not, it's um, a kind of important thing to some people, I mean. It's basically based on the pack, so let's get this ready. Leave it in the ashtray for a minute. Just so you know, my ashtray's got it. It's not horizontal, sticking out a bit. Really should get a better ashtray. Now I've got more room on my desk for something decent. I've got so much room on my desk, it's just absolutely crowded. Uh, this area is looking a bit blank. Because that should be in there, and uh, so should that. Lighters everywhere. Like, um, I've got more in another room. I've got to do the RV on the park as Syrian mini soon. We're about near the end of our minute. As you see, that wasn't hard to recover at all. It was still quite a uh, good burn. Scoot off a little bit. But that's to be expected. Minute test tends to be a good indication of how tightly packed it is. Uh, as I said, it, at the very start it was very firm. And I definitely had to update my definition of the airflow through this. Towards a more of a medium. Because it's definitely not light. Since that. I, I, initially, I thought it was light at first, but when I just started smoking this, I wasn't getting as much as a light cigar would. And as the minute test seemed to prove it was uh, very good at keeping the flame, so it's very tightly packed and it burns quite well it seems. This looks like a very long lasting cigar. Of course with all my reviews I don't, you know, I have them quite quickly. I don't want to sit here the whole time reviewing it. I'm going to have one of these quite quickly just for the purposes of reviewing and then the rest of them in my own time when I have time to sit back and relax then I'll have one. But I mean, I like doing these reviews, it's actually relaxing to me. I like to talk about these things, so it's quite good. I still, you know, enjoy doing it. Smoking it fast doesn't actually, you know, re reduce any enjoyment from it. Just, you know, less, uh, less of a slow time.
I should really give myself a bigger glass because I don't like um, seeping this out through the whole review. Main reason I'm doing it is because the uh, taste of the wrapper is coming off into my lips and it's uh, a little bit of a tang. Let's, uh, let's turn this into a bit of a cone. You could actually shape the uh, end of it a little bit to even up the burning. Keeps feeling like I've got tiny bits of wrapper onto my lips. That's why I prefer the punch. I don't like having to, you know, <clears throat> with the punch, press two holes in it, put it up against your mouth, take in. With this, you have to really put your holes around it to get a good seal. And it does create some problems. In terms of some extra taste, you might not want. This annoying spot here is not gone, it just annoys me to see. It's not even a spot, it's pretty flush. So, uh, that's a spot, and that is also flush. Don't know what it is. Same taste. Uh, I wish there was a bit more software for this camera because you know I like being able to change the focus and everything. I mean that's more than you get with most cameras, but it can still be expanded on. Sorry for seeming active for a minute. I'm just trying to look up um, a few of my recent subscriptions just so I could, you know, not quite share them out and not that big, but give a few of my followers heads up that they are out there. I don't know who they are. Anyways, I think I got them all. Um, where is that going? Sorry for the lack of speaking. Uh, Sam's Tobacco Reviews. I've watched a few of his. I like him. Uh, I want to say JR Sig Reviews. I watch the occasional one of his videos when I get time. 10 minutes of video is not bad. His recent ones are about 8 minutes.
But yeah, I, I like his occasional reviews. They're not that often, but he released one quite recently. Uh, the one I found earlier today was um, Friends of the Stogie. And uh, yeah, they're quite good. It seems to be mostly one guy, and there's a lot of reviews him with another guy. And that's about it. I was looking up uh, Larica cigars, and they had a video on the Larica Robusto. Where they both shared their thoughts on it, and yeah, I tend to agree with them on that. I've not had the Robusto size. So, yeah. I think that's uh, definitely a good channel everyone should check out. Their uh, profile picture seems to be two of every cigar. Another profile picture um, cover for their YouTube channel. Two of, uh, two of a lot of cigars, sorry. Got lost in train of thought there. More than halfway in. No, about halfway in. Still extremely nice. I would describe this as quite witty, I would say. Wood, definitely. Earthy, the generic terms you would describe the cigar with. You know, like, um, everyone seems to use the exact same terms. I say this is quite a sophisticated cigar. I would say you will not be cheaping out if you buy a box of these. You will not look like it. Some of the Facebook messages I get, generally important. Quick smoking this doesn't seem to have any real burn side effects. Where you know it starts to taste burnt or you know a bit overcooked. I have a feeling this is a scar I would stop around the inch mark. With scars these days I don't tend to get towards the end, I tend to leave the ends maybe about an inch. The plug seems to be holding itself very well, I mean it's quite moist obviously because um, yeah, but throughout the scar it's all really soft now it's heated up. That's to be expected. In a very, very tightly packed cigar, you would um, still have a bit more resistance than this. So it's tight, but not that tight. So as you mentioned that, he looked like, um, he said it looked like I was breathing out my nose. I was exhaling out my nose, uh, like actually inhaling and then exhaling through my nose. If it looks like that, chances are I'm just breathing out my nose at the same time as blowing out my mouth. I tend to do that. You can clearly see not, in, well that's what happens in that case, but sometimes it's a bit hard to tell.
I am considering doing a cigars limited unboxing. I did order about ninety pounds of cigars, but but the question is the exact cigars might mean I can't do an unboxing. Um, let me just explain what I mean so I can find out what my last order was. I have about half a million tabs open. I should probably close some of these soon. These orders I've made. Yeah, about ninety pounds. Eleven products. Eleven different products. First thing, three empty cigar boxes. Um, basically, what they do is they have. They only seem to get boxes like this, you know, like the 10 packs, the 25 packs. And they sell those, but they also sell the individual cigars. Let me just move this up a little bit. They also sell the individual cigars. Like, um, they basically just open up the box and then use the cigars. They don't buy them single separately. And that leads them to... Sorry, that's why it's uh, cheaper to buy the box than... You know, the same amount as a single cigar, even though you are getting the box. But basically because of this, they end up with a lot of extra empty boxes. And this is kind of like the... They sell the empty boxes, usually for decoration purpose, what whatnot. And I just think it'd be neat to have a bunch of boxes like that, maybe a little bit bigger. Just sitting over the corner, I could put, you know, my scars and stuff in it, just to organise everything. It would look good to have, like, sort of a vintage feel, I guess. So I uh, ordered three of those uh, three empty scar boxes, cabinet style. It's sort of like a lucky dip. You get random ones. And I put in the notes for that, just the largest of that category available. So we'll have to see what happens with that. They're two pound fifty each. Which is interesting. Let me just move this out of the way. I bought three of them, and the shipping is supposed to be postage for up to three boxes is a standard three pound fifty, and that's not that's supposed to not be included in the if you buy over fifty pounds you get free shipping. You're supposed to pay the extra. However, in checkout or anything, I didn't have to pay that three fifty, so I don't know what that's about. I don't know if they'll ask for that later or if they're just gonna let it go. Three Oliva Vejo Mundo cigars, eh, cigarillos. Six pound for three of them, so under two pound. This is a bit of a change. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna spend less by spending more, which is the most ridiculous thing you'll ever hear. But I usually have uh, many, maybe a few a day, and I seem to spend so much a month. But I worked out if I just completely restrict myself to something bigger than a mini, maybe like a proper cigarillo every single day, maybe like a uh, little Plasma de Wild or the Monte Cristo Puritos. Then if I have one of those a day, I will actually spend less a month, and then just maybe like an extra twenty pounds on a couple of decent cigars. So most of this is between one and two pound cigars, maybe a bit more. And of course, a five pack of the La Aurora Principe Chico's Cherry. Very good flavoured cigarillos. That's twelve pounds for five, so a bit over two pound, two pound twenty each. Three Davidoff Demitas cigars. Davidoff minis are good, but the price is uh, these are sort of like cigarillo size, so looking at about two pound fifty each. A little bit over that, two pound sixty-five. I'm not going to bother working that one out. That seems to be okay for the size of cigar you get. It's like small cigarillo. Not like a mini cigar, it's bigger than that. I'm also getting three Davidoff Exquisite Davidoff Exquisitos cigars. Pretty much same price, a little bit more. Near three pound each. And they're a tiny bit bigger, they're more cigarillo size. Again, for that price it's actually not bad if they're as good as the minis were. Especially for a big brand like Davidoff. Next is a Guantanama uh, Guantanamera Compe cigar. Or Compe. That is four pounds. That's a single scar I'm just getting because I might consider getting a box of those because uh, not a box, but um, a five pack for about twenty pounds. I've heard they're good, so I'm gonna try them out. 
3 Guantanamera Perito cigar, 5.37, so about the... I cannot do maths in my head right now, so about the £2.80 mark is what I would say if I was completely wrong. No, that's under £2 each. What am I talking about? Uh, they're basically small cigarillos, like the Monte Cristo Purios. Three Seagars Limited Dutch Blend Senoritas, £6. And then see three Seagars Limited Dutch Blend Wild Senoritas. I'm not sure what the difference is. I think it might be the Uncle Dent. But they're both around £2 each, and they're actually a decent size. And I quite like the one I got, so. Two Monte Cristo Puritos packs of five. That was £14 for two packs of those, so £7. Pounds. Around the 120 or something each, I don't remember what it was. And they're very, very, very good for that price, they're very good taste, they're, you know, general overall great. Then, uh, at last, one pack of La Paz Wild Cigarros, one five pack of those, 1049. So that fits in my £1 to £2 regime for, you know, a couple months. That was £90. Now, to get back into the point I was originally on, I'm going to do a Cigars Limited unboxing. That could be a bit of a problem since they tend to ship the packs separately, and they only send single cigars and uh, single single cigars in the actual boxes they usually use, and that's only one or two single cigars, so they might send it in a different kind of pack. But I will still unbox it anyway, maybe. Wait, I am. Um, a little bit of unevenness going on there, let's uh, let's tack that with lighter a little bit. As you see, the uh, lighter gives off a lot more flames, and not the lighter, the wrapper gives a lot more flames than the actual cigar itself. And that straight up turned into ash, so now you can see with that black line, it might start burning properly. You do a little bit of sculpting. I tend to do this. If you uh, turn, say like you've got a raised edge, turn on there, it will at least shape it a little bit, give you a bit more smooth burn. As long as you're careful not to actually compact anything. I would definitely favor the punch for the cigar. For smaller cigars, I would definitely go for the cutter. Especially since um, this card does a bit of sentimental value to me, I want to actually use it quite a bit. Kind of a bad idea, I didn't eat before having this. Um, you should always eat beforehand cigars, so you should at least make sure if you're having a decent cigar you have a good meal before it anyway. That tends to be the best use for cigars, especially mini cigars tend to be smoked after a meal, but they can smoke at any time. If you're hungry, cigars tend not to go down well. So uh, quite nice. Same taste, same everything. I'm gonna leave this here. I'll probably smoke a little bit after the review. But, but the taste has not changed. It's uh, definitely actually picked up a tiny bit, I would say. But nothing more like um, other scars. I noticed this is a little bit up. I have smoking cigars fast, you tend to feel a bit lightheaded. I'm not doing too great at the moment. Uh, so, let's uh, review on the cigar. Very witty, very free. It's actually really good. Um, I think we should do a quick revisit on the reviews. I think that might be important to do.
where is it? Um, I bought a small, yeah, that's one. Make sure my camera isn't covering it. I bought a small pack of these, are duty free on the way back from Greece. Amazing draw, lots of smoke and nice flavour. Tucked into these when I stepped out a few nights ago and he loved it too. However, I'll not get five stars as I've had better. Do you mean definitely or defiantly? Or I would suggest definitely. I definitely recommend Tom Noll Cigar. Yep. I would still prefer a Monte Cristo number four. But as pretty much one of my benchmark setting Cuban scars, I would say this is definitely one of my favourites and I'm pretty glad I got a box of them. I might settle for the Monte Cristo number four, so they're a tiny bit more expensive actually. But for the price, I wouldn't pay about £120, which is what Seagulls want for 10 of these. Uh, if you can find them cheap somewhere, then you should probably go for it. They're very, very, very good, and they're also good as a one-off Cuban. But for the box, yeah, I probably wouldn't really suggest that. Uh, price isn't bad, but... I'm sorry, something's just falling over inside of there. But, you know, 25 uh, Regis Coronas, that's a very good bargain for £160, or £120, you only get 10 of these. So, next page of reviews, light to medium strength and flavour. I would say light, I mean, towards the end it got a tiny bit better, but my opinion is straightforward, uncomplicated smoke. Yeah, I believe I said that at one point, it's pretty simple. No real flavour to it, it's still, uh, it's still good. Smooth flavour, very good uh, sweet. Doesn't really change much. Subtle creamish flavours, hints of white pepper. Hints of white pe what? So, uh, okay, yeah, I'm uh, kind of a simple reviewer. I mean, I like to get into the more specifics and say well, everything I think, everything that's going through my head. But the words hints of white pepper didn't ever cross my mind, and it never has in any application of my entire lifetime. A little bit spicy towards the end, however I was puffing more frequently at that point. Good solid cigar, above average, enjoyable. And you rate it 3 out of 5. I see a bit of a pattern of why this is only 4 out of 5. To be honest, I would say this is probably more towards the 4.5 out of 5 maybe. Uh, I could probably give it the full 5 out of 5. I mean, there's no real problem with it compared to other cigars. I would say that I would prefer the Monte Cristo number 4, but I can't fault this cigar. Uh, didn't expect anything special but really the truck, lovely smoke, taste nice smell, great draw, creamy smoke with earthy taste and a little spice. To be honest, I was not getting spice until the end, I mean it's quite, um, spice is a general term, but I would say it's, uh, I'm guessing it's referring to a little bit of earthiness, I would say. I'm here to buy a few more, so better recommendation than that, give it a go, bargain for the great quality smoke, yeah. As I said, for the UK and everything, you know, huge taxes are quite considerably expensive. The whole Romeo and Juliet range is really, you know, pricey. But, you know, I would I would probably rate this one quite high. So, 4 or 5, maybe 5, 4.5 out of 5, maybe 5 out of 5. Extremely good scar, can't really fault it, except the price in the UK. Get all of them cheap and you'll have a really good time. If you want a one-off Cuban, I would get one of these. I'd throw one of these into your car. If you're spending £100 anyway, get one of these. I mean, there's no real problem with that. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to say. You could buy this at Cigars, although I didn't. The link is in the description. You'll also find my Facebook page where I post updates whenever I live stream. I tell people there first. Usually with a bit of a warning. And... Um, yeah, you'll also find my Patreon. If you want to support me, then have a look there. So, thanks for watching this review. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry it's a little bit lazy. I'm sorry I didn't quite finish this car. I got towards the end. But I hope you got the gist of it. And I, you know, I hope you enjoy watching this review as much as I enjoy making it. So, thanks for watching. Bye.